when users complain about searches taking too long, it's a very good idea to install, if you don't have it already, the Curator Deployment Intelligence to figure out what is actually going on. First, I will go into the hardware, on the, where the console is, and I will make sure that the component Aerial proxy server, this one that we see here, has been available all the time. In my case, we have an outage that lasted a minute, and that's because I did a full deploy configuration on purpose to generate some outages in here. But where you want to spend most of the time is going back to the deployment overview in this particular chart, top users by search activity. In your system, you most likely will not have just admin, as I do, QDI and DNS analyzer. These are apps that I have that perform searches on the system, in particular QDI, the same one that we're using here, does a bunch of searches on health metrics to come up with those nice results that you see there. And that's what in my system, because I'm not doing anything, is the busiest of them all. I only have one user defined, admin. In your case, you will probably have, you know, user X, Y, and Z, and you will quickly see here how many searches are they doing, okay? But most importantly, the duration, the time duration. I mean, nine seconds, and, and this is actually that I force in the system. Uh, it's not too bad, but uh, you most likely will see here for that particular user who is complaining about searches taking too long, you will see numbers that are quite larger than nine seconds. These are, let's actually click on it and see how we can help these uh, determine what's the problem here. So in here my max search, the, the one that took the most duration, notice that is a UI. If you see here API, that means that is one of your apps it could be resilient making queries into curated data. But this particular case is that user. Let's actually click and see the details of that search. Well we can see here that this was an AQL search and one thing that can be Interesting in here is notice that the number of days that this search has been done, 300 days, or well, no wonder it took longer than usual. And in fact, it did it actually pretty quickly. Other things that we can uh, see from from that chart. Has he been using group by, you know, some sort of aggregation? Well, it doesn't seem that that is the case. So this is something that you may actually seen here. In this particular case, there's no data for that. The other place that I will definitely look upon is the average duration. Because in here, you can see things like, well, when that search was actually taking place, how many concurrent searches, how busy was the system doing other searches? And this can indicate a kind of a, okay, well, too many people are making searches at the same particular time. Have indices, index uh, been uh, used in your search or not? How many files were involved in that search? You know? Total result, how much data is actually being brought by your search. If a huge number, maybe you want to use the limit one. Or remember that in the first part of this session of this video series on the aerial query and the quick search, quick filter, there are tips on how to teach your people how to do more effective searches. And one final thing about this chart is that you can of course pivot here on the amount of time. Is it something recent? Let's say that you're testing a particular search, you want to go and, and look in the last uh, 15 minutes and you see the, the details, how that uh, they change. And also if you are focusing on a particular user that you want to help, you can click here and see only his particular activity.